In this video, we're going to make a coil pot. A coil pot in the art classroom starts out with a small pinch pot. We use this pinch pot as our base. So you're going to make a small pinch pot and you want it to be a little bit shorter and wider and stronger than a normal pinch pot. You want it to have a nice, strong, thick, even wall of clay around the edge that should go straight up. The bottom of your pinch pot should just be nice and even and strong. This is like the foundation of a house. It has to hold up the coils that you're going to use to build the walls. So start with your pinch pot. Once your pinch pot is nice and even and flat on the bottom, then you will start by making a coil. A coil of clay is sort of like a rope shaped piece of clay. So you're going to take a piece of clay that's smaller than a golf ball, set aside your pinch pot, and you want your, when you roll out your coil of clay, you want to use your whole hand. So you want to use your hand from the tip of your finger all the way to the base of your palm and roll back and forth. Um, when you roll your clay out, you want it to be nice and even. So you, you kind of have to look at your coil and see where are the thick parts, where are the thin parts, and just roll the thick parts. You want to keep that coil moving and it should be very round and it should be about as thick as your pinky finger. If you're a, 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 a kid, not a grown up, it would be about as thick as your pinky finger. Um, when we roll that out, if you have a really skinny end, just pinch it off. And then you're going to take your finger and push in the ends of your coil so they're nice and even on the ends. Now whenever we attach clay together, we're going to score our clay nice and neat on both pieces. So we score our pinch pot and we also score our coil. Then we take our toothbrush and add a little bit of, of slip to the both sides. When you put your first coil on for your coil pot, I always use my thumb to push down the clay just where it attaches there, almost like a parking ramp so that it has a nice continuous um, coil or almost like a slinky, it spirals up. So we are going to slip and score each coil that we add on both sides. So you might notice that as I add coils, I have to go back with my little comb and score the top and bottom of each coil as I add it. Now occasionally I'll take my fingers and I'll sort of even out the coils. It kind of looks like I'm pinching the coils, but I'm not pinching them. I'm actually just making sure that they're well attached to each other. Um, in this coil I roll out, I'm going to roll one part too thin so you can see what to do. If it's too skinny like that, get rid of that piece. You can just break it off. That piece looks way too thin, so just take that and just tear it right off. If it's too thick, roll it out a little bit thinner. Again, push the ends in so they're nice and even. Score with a comb. You're going to score the pot and the coil you're attaching. Take some slip, add some slip with a toothbrush, and then put the two sides together. When you attach your second coil, it's going to start right where your old one left off. My coil is so long, I have to add uh, more slip and score for that coil as well. So I'm just going to keep going around and around and around. Now I'm going to get to a point where I'm ready to finish my pot. When I'm ready to finish my pot, I'm going to take a smaller amount of clay and roll it into a small carrot shape. So the thick end should be as thick as your coils and the thin end should be pretty tapered into a point. I'm going to slip and score that piece on so that the skinny pointy end is at the end of the coil. And then I'm going to take my thumb and just smooth it in. That way your top will be more level than it would be if you just let the coil end. Um, I'm using my fingertips and my thumb to get rid of any cracks. I'm just going to take my finger and smooth out any spots where I scored too much and you can still see the scoring. I'm going to make sure there's no holes in my pot. This is the part where I'm pressing the clay down a little bit to make sure it's well attached. I'm not actually pinching the clay, I'm just pushing it down very gently. And you can see the coils that go all the way up the sides. That is a coil pot. 